Hi guys, this is Jason Zak from Nathaniel School of Music. In this bass guitar lesson, we're basically going to have a walk through or a rundown of all your skills, the usual suspects which you would use in a lot of music. And uh, I'm going to first start with everyone's well-known or favorite scale, the major scale. We are going to work our way through with all the positions. Then we'll try and convert the major into minors using a very simple technique which you're going to learn. And then we'll try and build smaller scales, the pentatonic scales and the blues scales. And if you ask me, those are pretty much the main ingredients which you're going to use for grooving and playing popular music, right? So let's get cracking. Before we do, it'll be great if you could hit that bell icon for notifications and obviously hit subscribe. It'll be great to have you on board our channel and let's get cracking. So the, the route I have for you for this lesson is C. Maybe because of being a pianist, I guess. But anyway, we'll just take C. Now, the first thing you could do is just position or place the following fingers on this C. You could start by placing your index. See how that feels. Your middle finger. See how that feels. And your pinky finger. See how that feels. Now, the reason why this starting note is very important to play the scale is because of the position. Now, if you start from your index finger, you're going to end up playing in this region of the bass guitar. You're going to access data here. It's going to be very awkward to kind of... You see what I'm trying to do. It's impossible. I'm going to damage my hand or something. So, you're creating kind of a wall. You're not going to go to, well, in this case, my left anymore you're only going to access this data as far as your fingers can go so if you play with your index you're going to get things like you're going to play data there or you can play the our very own major scale i'll show you that slowly now if you put your middle finger here you can get things in the middle like in this arc or in this line Right, of about four frets of the bass. So you can go middle finger on C. So just get used to that and late, I'm going to show you the notes as well very shortly. With the pinky finger, you can access things to the left side, at least my left, towards the lower register of the bass. So that'll be... That's your major scale starting with the pinky. You see that it all sounds the same and that's pretty much because the same notes like for example the octave C in this case will be found here it could also be found here right you will find your G there or you'll find your G there so you find different notes in different frets or dif off different strings on the bass guitar so Let's get cracking with the scale. So we start with C. I'm going to begin with the middle finger position because I think that's the default or the easiest one which we learn. So here's how it goes. I'll do it slowly and then teach you. D, E, F, G, A, B, C, C, B, A, G, F, E, D, C. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, C, B, A, G, F, E, D, C. Okay. With my picking hand, you could all kind of alternate between your index and the middle. It's not so important, but sometimes you could do that or just play it somehow. Assuming you play the bass with your index finger and your middle finger. So... Okay, so let's break this down. Middle finger on C, then pinky finger on D, but a fret away. So you skip a fret, don't play C sharp, play the D. Okay, so you do <clears throat> middle finger on C, pinky on D. Now E or the major third will be accessed on the next string and previous fret. So C, D, E got that c so you're going to the next string going down a fret c d e now f is the next string same fret as c or the root this is also what we call as the perfect fourth i'm also showing you intervals by the way c d e major third 
perfect fourth and look at my fingers middle pinky index middle again now pinky again but on the fifth c g sa pa c d e f g okay and the we finished five notes let's do the five notes together c d e f g one more time c d e f g okay little faster c d e f g maybe we can go down c d e f g f e d c one more time c d e f g f e d c there we go now let's voyage onward c d e f g a so skip two strings to play your major 6th or a in the c major case and you get this major 6 sound c a c a c d e f g a okay so a skip two strings or skip a string rather and go down a fret so e a a major 3rd major 6th perfect 4th perfect 5th major 2nd major 3rd so it also may help to go like c d c e c f c g c a like that you can even go root and everything but that's of of course a little trickier could try that later so now coming to the last note or the seventh note c d e f g a b b you'll play i guess it's the only note in this system where you play it with your ring finger c d e f g a b how do we identify that skip a string go up a fret skip a string go up a fret and i'm starting on the e string you can do this pretty much from any string on the bass as long as you have enough notes to play c d e f g a b and the octave is super easy it's just the very next fret of that same string so c d e f g a b c so c d c c d c e major third perfect fourth perfect fifth major sixth major seventh perfect octave major seventh major sixth perfect fifth major perfect fourth major third major second back to the root let's do that in this is what we call as i just call the middle finger position some people call it the first position and so on just just see starting from the middle finger slowly go as slow as possible Okay so that was starting with the middle finger now we can start from our index finger and if you play if you look at it this is where you're going to play you're going to play all these ingredients so with the index you're going to go c d d the same place as it was earlier but you cannot play e here there's no more you can't jump there so c d e you would play e with your pinky finger slightly tricky if you're finding it tricky it's okay you can do the other one or just work through it c d e f g a b very symmetric ta na 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 so index middle pinky index on f uh, middle on g a with the pinky and when you do your major 7th you could bring back your index finger which you used to play with for the root i think that's a nice fit and then end with your middle so it's index middle pinky for the first uh, set c d e and then index middle pinky again for the next set and then bring back your index to play the b major 7th end with the octave sometimes you could also play this with your ring finger I think that's a lot trickier so i would prefer your middle 
sometimes ring i mean it just kind of you can try both but pinky and index definitely for the this region c e okay so the notes again c d e f g a b second position or the index finger c b a g f e d c again c b a g f e d c okay now we have one more position to play the major scale before we are done with the major scale so you start from c with your pinky and now instead of playing d here which now you can't you would be playing d here with your index finger here you go so next string down well two frets c d now e with your ring f with your pinky again so pinky index ring pinky let's get that pom 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 okay moving forward c d e f g g is right under that uh, next string same fret after the d c d e f g a now you cannot do b here it's too much of a strain so c d e f g a b c so b with your index finger you just go a little bit more downward by one fret and you got yourself the b or the major 7th whenever i say d it's the major 2nd e is the major 3rd f is the perfect 4th g is the perfect 5th a is the major 6th b is the major 7th and c is the octave if you play it at the octave so c d e so this is the pinky position or the third position if you want to call it that pinky d e f g a b c c b a g f e d c c d e f g a b you don't want to do c d e f g a b flat that's not b that's b flat sometimes even i'm tempted to do that but c d e f g a b c c b a g f e d c So let's revise all the three positions for our major scale and then move on. Position 1 starting with your middle finger C D E F G A B C Sa Ni Da Pa Ma Ga Re Sa Now you start with your index C D E F G A B C C B A G F E D C slightly trickier because of the stretch na 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 then you start with the pinky and then c d e f g a b c f e d c so using these shapes you can then try playing you know simple melodies like maybe a song like this twinkle twinkle in the middle position twinkle So now you're kind of jumbling stuff because it's the melody, right? The melody will jumble the notes. So you could try and play this in different positions. Maybe this position as well, the second position with the index starting. then you can do it with this position there we have it so my advice to you with the major scale is first start with the middle finger position that's generally what will work really well take breaks while playing especially if you're new to the bass Uh, take for every amount of time you play let's say 5 minutes or 10 minutes try to take a break for the same amount of time it's something i need to keep telling myself as well as a bass player so take breaks it will be good for your wrist and your tendons and your arm in general and practice it with the middle position then move on to the index position 
then move on to the pinky position and then try and play simple tunes. So in the next lesson, which you need to find on our YouTube channel, we've made it very much accessible in the description and in a playlist just for bass lessons. You will find other scales which I'm going to guide you through just to give you a rundown of the minors, the pentatonics and the blues as we talked about. So in this part, We've talked about the major scale, moving forward, all the other stuff coming your way. So thanks again for watching the video. Do consider being a follower on Patreon as well as YouTube. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, the bell icon for regular notifications. And I will see you in the next one. Cheers.